morning, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to Toad TV. I am Mary Beth. I am Helen. And we are the creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow. And today we are coming to you. It is Tuesday, um, October 20th. Yes. Wow. Okay. October Moving right is along. flying by. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I am having peach tea in my peachy mug. I'm having buttermint. Um, it's the perfect temperature. It's actually the perfect cup of tea. I got the honey perfectly and everything was right. That's the world. That's very good. I am wearing my Brunswick tea. Done in Lucy and Acorn. Yeah, pretty. Beautiful. I was going to wear mine this morning and I came out and I'm like, oh, God, I didn't. Yeah, I wear mine tomorrow. Um, a couple things. Uh, October 20th reminded me. Saf is this weekend. Um, it is Missing Saf on Facebook. She's running uh, all the vendor um, time slots through Facebook Live. And uh, we are going to be Saturday afternoon at 2.30. But um, if you go to Missing Saf on Facebook and join the group, uh, vendors are already posting... Um, what they have to offer and fun things so that's uh that's this weekend and i think that that about does it for october for us right yes as far as uh virtual shows so and um i was thinking about it. we had so much fun at uh SAF last year it was our first year doing it oh yeah we stayed in a gorgeous airbnb and the it was so beautiful in the north carolina mountains and it oh, was really was it was one of our prettier drives yes so long but pretty, pretty. really, yeah. really pretty. And we, um, we met some wonderful, wonderful people. Yeah. Some so. really kind people. So we are missing staff. Yes. But, um, next year, hopefully fingers crossed next yeah. year, we will be back. We got shows paid for through 2022. I think I know it's crazy. Are you going to drink my tea? Man? I put my tea down on the ground and, uh, sna uh, uh Spike is sniffing around. Okay. So. October 20th. Shall we do the advent calendar? Sure. Okay. Um, so yesterday uh, would have been the first day to open our Halloween countdown if you were doing the 13 days in a row. Um, so we are going to be showing them a day late. So if you haven't opened your first day yet, look away. Um, but we did, our theme was the Old Witch's Garden. So all our... Uh, Colors were based on plants that you would find in a witch's garden. All, they all have medicinal or um, helpful properties. Mystical. Mystical, okay. Uh, properties. So um, day number one is the blue crown passion flower. And it's going to be like a surprise for me because I couldn't tell you what they all look like. It was a while ago. Yeah. It was a wall of two weeks ago. <laughs> but I've done elephants and so right. not pretty. So that is day one. Blue crown passion flower. It's got speckles of uh, yellow and um, a berry pink and blue. And it is a 20 gram mini of our 80 20 base. Yeah. So, um, Some are, some days are two 10 gram minis, some are tweed. Um, this one was an 80 20. 20. So now we have to start the, um, the Cottywampo. The Cottywampo cowl. I was waiting for my needles. They came this weekend. So I am, I can cast this on. Okay. The I... Cottywampo cowl is by iRock Knits. And um, if you use the code Toad Hollow, you get 50% off the pattern. Right. I am doing, I get to open day two from the Black Needle Society. So this is our 13 days of Halloween that we got from them. And for day two, dun, 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 we get floss. Ooh. We get DMC floss in 310, which always, mm -hmm. always, always need. All right, so here's 564. 917. This kind of looks like our flower. <laughs> yes. This is, oh my God, this is so funny. Hold on. Yeah. 
Right here's thirty-seven seventy-six. We're starting to branch yeah. away. Here's three ten. Those are really pretty together. Yeah. And then here is dyeing for cross stitch cotton hand dyed fibers, and that's a, I guess a special colorway for the Halloween box. I wonder if day three we get a project to go with all of our flosses. Maybe we shall see, because those are pretty flosses yeah. together. And they that's seem a, very specific. Yeah, that's an interesting combination, one that I might not put together by myself, but that I kind of like. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see what tomorrow brings. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So day two from the Black Needle Society. All right. Let's talk about the state of the sweater. I was going to say, today's Tuesday. It's sweater day. It's sweater day. Um, I am working on my Cromwell, and when last we left our intrepid knitter, I had a collar that came out to here and huge sleeves, or one huge sleeve. I have, I took out the collar and then did it again and that was too small. So I took it out again. Well, well, what did you do to make it too small? All right, so what I did was I picked up all the stitches and then the first thing I did was knit two together all the way around and then knit the 11 rounds that she suggests and that was too tight that was that wasn't what I wanted either so then my third time around I picked up all the stitches and then I knit four knit two together knit four knit two together okay. and I came up with this and I actually kind of like it looks it looks very um the way it came symmetrical out. to the sweater right I have finished my first sleeve you are like an expert at picking up now yeah I have finished my first sleeve I did a bell sleeve which by the way Obviously, I am right on track with everybody. Oh, we were watching Christy Glass last night, yesterday. The Rhinebeck, tell me about your Rhinebeck sweater. Can't tell you how many bell sleeves there were. Right. Oh, so, look at you. Right on track for that. So I'm finished my first sleeve. I am so close to being done my second sleeve. So I have five more rounds and then I knit two together all the way around and then I start the cut. I have gotten here and I ran out of yarn. And I am not gonna open up a new um, thing of potions, a new skin of potions for five rounds plus 11 rounds of, of ribbing. That's ridiculous. So Helen had a little bit left over of Christmas at Hogwarts and we're gonna see how that works with it. Yeah. Um, but right now, so this is all done up in uh, DK in our potions colorway. Potions. So this is how it's fitting right now. Look at that sleeve. That's really cool. That is... It's a perfect length, too. The perfect sleeve for me. I mean, that is really nice and big. Doing and it then, again, would you do this as big? I don't know. Okay. I honestly don't know, because it's very, very comfortable. Right. And I've put on sweaters where the sleeves are really kind of tight, which I don't want. Yeah. Um. So this is very comfortable and just really, you know, loose and... So I just have to do... And I actually like the way the way my cuff is hitting. It's not down over my arm or over my hand or anything like that. It's just hitting basically it's right actually, at it's actually wrist. Perfect. I mean, if you're going to be outside and you want to pull your sleeves up over, that's not this sweater. Right. Um, so, I only did half of the sleeve they called for. Okay. <laughs> There were still like 50 rounds to go. I will say, miraculously enough, I managed to do that dragging the ball of yarn and I did not get it in my tea at all. Yeah, it's really. Anyway, that's, that's where I am so far. I love the way this knit up. I, th I think potions came out amazing. I love um, that the top is all speckly. You can tell where I switched skeins because the bottom is pooling rather than yeah. speckling. So it was a slightly different skein, but it's still really, really cool. So I know I saw that Christy Glass is doing something for her knit and relax. Knit and escape. Knit and escape thing. And their first thing they're doing on Friday night is all rainbow themed. Oh, okay. I think I have my rainbow. I think you're in. good. My rainbow yeah. thing is ready to go. Okay. Because that has all the colors of the rainbow in it. So that's the state of the sweater. Next week, I will be done. And I will, cast, I will have cast on my next one. Okay. Do you know what your next one is? I have a good idea of what it is, and I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to do it in. I just have to um, finalize it. Okay. But 
next week. Excellent. Merci. Okay. I do not have a sweater. Uh, started around the needles, but I have a sweater planned. And I'm going to start it up this week. Um, it took me a bit to plan which sweater I wanted to do. And I think you can't hold me to it because I haven't started yet. But I think I know what I'm going to start with. Oh, please. I can even start it and still you can't hold me to it. So I think what I'm going to do is the Boho Romance Crop by Annie Lupton. I just, I love that sweater. I think it's gonna be comfortable. I think it's gonna look cute just the way she has it styled. Um, I loved it when it came out and I just keep coming back to it. So I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that may be the one. And I'm going to do it in our Dingle Hopper colorway because I have it all caked up because I had another sweater in mind uh, that I was going to do and I just decided I probably wasn't going to wear that one as much. Um, so this is a uh, DK weight and the dingle hopper and I'm going to go for it. So now I just have to find my needles. I will actually do a swatch this time. Um, pay attention to measurements and all that jazz. Um, what size needles does it take? Six. Okay. I know I have a six. So if I get gauge with a US six, I'm all set to go. All right. I, I may cast that on today, depending on how the day goes. Top down in the round. Right. Cool. So, I mean, to begin with, it's just going to be round and round we go. Yep. Because it's all stuck in it. It has a sweet Pico bind off. We'll see how I feel at the end. Yeah. Because it's really cute. Oh, so but I think I, I'd probably besides, do you don't, and Pico don't let it, um, yeah. uh, the bind off turn you off the, for the rest of the sweater, right? So, cool. It's going to be really yeah. a comfortable, comfortable sweater. All right. That is very, very cool. Have you gotten it yet? No. Okay, we're going to have to buy it. Yep. Okay. Annie Lupton, she's got some great yes. sweaters. Yeah, she is uh, the designer of our Netflix and Chill and Lunaria shawls that we have samples for. Um, yeah, we love that always stuff. do very very well. So um, I really like her designs. Is she the blur too? No, that's, that's boho chic. No, she's boho chic. Okay, um, that's Addie Day designs. Oh, okay, all right. Okay, so that is the state of the sweaters. Yeah, moving right along. Yeah, is anybody else working on sweaters? I'm sure everybody is. Yes, but, um, but you know, you could um, come over to Crafting with the Toads, our Facebook group, and share pictures of your sweaters. Yeah. And I will try and remember to share a picture of mine since I never put anything up there. I'm so I was gonna say, it. we should make sure Tuesdays are the state of the sweater. Okay, so I'll try and take a picture. I'll put it on uh, Antoinette and take a picture of it. I'll okay. put it up. Alrighty. Okay, guys. Um, we will see you tomorrow. We are off to do Advent. Yes. I'll Advent all the time until we get them out of here. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. Go, yeah. Go forth and create. Okay. We will see you tomorrow. Bye.